One of the most important export file for our real world to creating a pattern is exporting to the pattern, to the patterns. One of them is a snapshot. If you go into, uh, explain it in the next lesson, for example, go into the print layouts, you can uh, define your uh, fabric rule for exporting your plotter or 2D pattern. But I want to simply export 3D uh, exactly in this view, not render real time viewing here. And the 2D pattern, go into the file <coughs> snapshot. And here we have a 2D pattern and 3D. First, I want to explain 3D window. You can export a 3D window. First, select the name and choose a which files uh, <clears throat> format do you want, JPEG or PNG? PNG, boom, it's better quality and save it. Another window, window that open in a snapshot, we have two tabs, single and multi view. <clears throat> if you go to the single, you can just uh, single render here. You can in a preset, you can change your preset size that you want. For example, I like full HD. And as you can see, you can export it and change your view to export to export this view exactly like it's like a snapshot. You can change your resolution if you want. That's okay. If you want to transparent background, if you want to remove background and add a, another background to your software, you can check it. It's nice. If you have a color raise, <clears throat> that I will explain it in the next lesson. Color raise is very easy. You can change the color properties of your fabric and one point click you can go in between them or you can save the file in the html file if you tick it if you activate it <coughs> it gives you html file with a folder that you can insert it in your um to in your website it's very easy you can activate it it gives you in a folder but i save it <coughs> and it export this to the view to the view for us as you can see it's export exactly the viewport <clears> to <throat> the viewport so it's easy uh, the most important part is exporting these patterns for plotter for 3d for printer in exactly size what does it mean 2d pattern one to one it means for example if this uh part is 250 millimeter it's exactly export this size and we test it in the photoshop you can go a snapshot to the pattern and as you can see it will be pop up here you can <clears throat> you can define any size that you want okay any size that you want but i suggest you for this part change it to the custom and you can change these numbers that you want these are not important but the most important thing is you change this uh, to porte for language it's not important as you can see it's change does not change anymore because it's exported exactly one by one in this real number in millimeter i suggest you change your uh, unit in all of your software in a millimeter that is very <coughs> understandable for uh, other devices in a real world so first change your unit in millimeter okay and change your resolution and high number because we want to print it uh, the pixel is not important the width and height not important the portrait not important just set it in the custom and millimeter and everything is done for you Okay, another important part is here. As you can see, you can activate show lines. It's very important. Test it. A graphic line. You can activate or deactivate it. Internal line. Okay, we don't need it. Or if you have an internal line, for example, if you <clears throat> draw a pocket, you can uh, print it. Okay, this is a pocket, so it's important. Baseline, not just if you have uh pattern outline is very important as you can see the pattern outline sorry here you can uh, ex export them uh the seam allowance is very important you know seam allowance it's a uh, <clears throat> extra fabric for sewing it's very important if we have a symmetry i want to i don't want to share them because it's not important reference line yeah if you have it you can activate it 
this is the most uh, interesting point is here. Activate, uh, show, it's easier, you can open it. <clears throat> a fabric texture. If you want to export your in a printer, give a, uh, a light color. <clears throat> uh, delete, do not um, assign a, a special texture for your pattern. Just a simple color to better define when you export it. Activate it. As you can see, I have a, a light blue color. Graphic, if you have a graphic on your pattern, you can do it, but I turn it off. Internal line, you can activate it or deactivate it. Here we have uh, another important issue, additional information. If you want to activate pattern name, so it's nice, important. Uh, pattern annotation, it's very important. For example, I want to see this <clears throat> part is suing to that part. You can give a number to them to better understanding other person. Line length, as you can see, the line length is important because I want to show you uh, exactly, for example, from this distance, this length is 250.9. Yeah, uh, gr grain line. No, I don't want it simple on bound and sky. I explained them before, you know it. If you have a button and button hole, here you can activate it. Button and button hole. Yeah, this is nice because you can uh, say your uh, other co workers, okay. This is in the place of your button. That's an, yeah, it's nice. 2D measurement if you have. <clears throat> and do not activate transparent back, background. It's not good. Just do the settings and save. And uh, the PNG is okay. Give it any name and save it on your PC and waiting for export. Waiting. Okay, it. Okay, uh, I forget to uh, say something in the export. Going to the snapshot, to the pattern, and here you can change the position of your pattern to organize them <coughs> uh, to have a, a smaller size of. Uh, to the pattern export, okay? So the width and height not important, it's automatically, because it is one-to-one -one exported to you. So optimize your size. Go to the Photoshop. Okay, here we're in the Photoshop and export this pattern. Don't worry about that, it's very high quality. You can zoom in <clears throat> and you can clearly, oh, oh, I forget to export the, this part length it's not important here you can uh it's because of we turn the symmetry off it does not appear here here it's, you can turn turn the symmetry as you can see we have an exact number here and our uh <clears throat> pattern dimension the real pattern dimension in millimeter is here you can show you can see that uh, we want to measure this part in a simplest way for example my photoshop unit is in a centimeter a millimeter and I create a <clears throat> I create a rectangle here and show the tooltip and as you can see it is the exact number in this number is 250.9 and as you can see it's exact number here you can type number here and as you can see it's exactly match this so this nine this uh, length is in a real world. If you export it, if you export it in a plotter, in a printer, you can cut this and you have a real and exact number that you design in a 3D, um, color 3D in a real world, okay? This is exporting one to one. You can cut this line, optimize them. Uh, before exporting, you have to optimize them, okay? Click and drag to, in a <clears throat> close 3D. You have to export like this. So I want to show you just, I want to say in a 2D one by one, it's everything automatically for you. Just press, 
<coughs> change it to custom landscape these in, sitting is not important width and height because if you change it if you change it is zero it's export exactly uh, all the pattern lengths for you it's important change unit in a millimeter and the resolution in high number 300 is nice and as you want you can as you can see we can uh, turn we turn all this symmetry off you can turn it off and do these settings and save it gives you exact real world dimensions of this pattern for example as you as you saw before this number is uh, for example if you activate the line length exactly you design 250 millimeter here it gives you exactly this number that you want so this is 2d snapshot it's very important and in a 3d i forget to tell you something <clears throat> Here it's a multi view. If you go to the multi view, it's automatically uh, changing a view for you. You can change it in any direction that you want. This is a single image uh, export, and here is a view. If you want to four, if you want to seven view, that you, you can change it. Four is enough. Horizontal, vertical, box, any uh, number that you want. Transparent, say separate images if you want if you do not activate it it gives you just exactly this image if you have a color where you can <clears throat> activate it and here you can i want to show you save to html file waiting for export and see that as you can see it's exported html file this is an html file and this is under resources and you can open it in your browser okay as you can see i imported in my browser just do double click on it and as you can see if you click and drag you can rotate in any direction that you want interesting yeah you can change it next 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 nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.